Hello, and welcome back to the Witcher Wild Hunt, where we continue with the Blood and Wine DLC. In the last episode, we embarked on some uh, secondary quests. We helped uh, to defeat Grotore. It was a very difficult fight with the Spriggan. Uh, then, while we were investigating the western part of uh, Tucson, is this cave now closed? What? That's weird. But okay, I've encountered some glitches in here more often, which is uh, which isn't pleasant. But I guess it is what it is. Now, I would like to clear out those two. Yeah, in uh, this uh, mysterious cave, we... Uh, we helped... Uh, th there was a notice from uh, some brothers. Oh, oh now the cave is alright. So these brothers were looking for for some muscles uh, because they needed some protection. Apparently it was uh, a feud between brothers, some kind of a fight, you know, uh, because uh, Because their father separated something very important in three pieces, and now those three brothers are fighting over it. Okay, that deals with those three. Now, how do I get to the... to the nest? It's supposed to be on top of this building, right? Harpies got their nest here. Oh, not for long. Samuel Ada's notes. Father's hounding me to do some chores again. With all his nagging, I shall never finish my ingenious mechanism. At least Mumsy supports me and lent me her mirror, along with the two others I bought with my savings, I will be able to test whether the device I have invented will indeed work. But first I shall sum up the beginning of my tale for the benefit of any who happen upon it only at this moment. My dearest love, Elise, Elise dwells with her family at an estate snuggled in a valley so deep that between September and March the sun is continually hidden behind the abutting slopes. All the residents of this settlement must live in constant twilight and darkness for these long months. Yet soon this uh, perennial torture will be but a dark memory. My invention is brilliant in its simplicity. Atop one of the nearby mountains, I shall install a system of mirrors to reflect the rays of the sun towards her manor. That's it. It was worth it, all those long nights spent at the Imperial Academy Library during my studies, perfecting my skills in arithmetic and alchemy. I would like to test my discover today, but father keeps shouting that my contraption will only attract a few feeble-minded magpies to doo-doo all over the our boat, or even worse, bring in a flock of harpies. But he's away, but he's always got a problem with everything. I'll wait until he leaves for town, then set up my mirrors in a flash. Huh. 
how did that go? Is there anything interesting? Something else, I mean. Doesn't look like it, to be honest. So let's go fetch Roach. Contract. It's thin scrapings around here. Miserable. At least the weather's pleasant. And hungry. Good day. Hey ho, Master Witcher! Yep, that will be me. Shake so bad, I cannot hold my tools. You, sir, are a witch. The very one the Duquesa summoned. Guilty as charged. And you gotta be someone who wants something from me. It's like you read my mind. You see, those caves are like cellars the gods carved out for their own stores. Spacious, dry. Just some monster lives inside them. A soothsayer. Gods be Celted, a soothsayer. So will you help? Might help, might not. Depends on whether we can agree on a fee. My, my, we clearly think highly of ourselves. I don't have it. Okay. Well, nearly there. So 30% is not your sick. Good. Yes, so be it. Sure, I'll see to it. For the sizable reward I foresee you giving me. The cat and crest. Hmm. Well, we definitely hear a monster over there. That we can be sure of. And this is another. If if this is another friendly troll, I will be pissed. Is it a Shailmar?
Apparently, Irden is extremely efficient. Any notable loot in here? Just like anything? Just some blood moss. That's not serious. So? Well? Problem solved. Shalemar that lived in the cave won't pester you anymore. Superb! I've gained a warehouse, and you've gained my gratitude. See you later. Ooh. Now... We can go maybe all the way over here, check out those two, and then move entirely to this area. What will the morrow bring? <clears throat> go, go. What's this thing? Seriously wrong here. Yeah, no. You're not joking, right? You think so? Who the hell are you? Oh god damn it. Alrighty.
as you can clearly see, this is not my first en encounter with the Spriggan. I'm already rather experienced with dealing with uh, such creatures. Now, I assume I might find another piece of local history. Charlotte's Diary. Meticulously kept journal, the last dozen or so pages are written in a nervous hand on tear warped paper. I am slowly losing hope that Ruth will ever get through to Francois, that he will ever truly disappear from my life. All my desperate pleas fall on deaf ears, all my entreaties, my begging him to leave me, to leave us alone. I was so foolish and naive to believe he might drop out of sight after he saw Albert and me together. I agreed to, him, to meet him for one last conversation. I wanted to explain to him in no uncertain terms I cannot marry him and for him to let me go. But I got drunk and his eyes... There was this touching sadness in them. He'd brought me a purse of jewels as an offering. I poured them out onto the ground and covered them with dirt, saying I will marry him when they sprout into vines. Francois, he didn't understand, but at least he agreed to leave me alone for the rest of the day. Through the window I see a storm is brewing and rain will soon begin to power. Dogs howl to the moon and the cats have begun their nighttime serenades. This will be a difficult night, and I feel a strange unease. Could it be this is not the end of the story? Well... Not even a draft horse will talk without some carrot to move it. Regarding this story... Somehow Ethan made our ladies more eager. A thousand thanks, white one. To me, it looks like maybe those were not jewels that Francois brought. Lay about wonks, sluggards, skivers. Saying you're the Duke of this, the Duke of that, you're the Duke of Dog Dittle! The what? Shot cave? Chuchot cave? I'm what kind of cave is this? Mountains out in Mall Hills, Vilma. I shall be better than fine. I must insist, Count. You'll be much, much the safer with us at your side. Boulder Dash. Count, if I may, oh, I believe Vilma's in the right. Could There's no knowing F what lurks in that. these wilds. Lads, I find your concern touching, I do. Yet I've long awaited this day. So, you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah, it seems my guide has arrived. Greetings. Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice? <laughs> Foolish question. You're here, thus you must have seen it. 
Forgive me. I should introduce myself. Count Belladal, a great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. Not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? A right hardy fellow he is, no ponce, I'm sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it, right daft. You exaggerate, Vilma. I believe I can manage to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me arse in my stead. My guards lament, Witcher, but you must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks, as you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I've a rather extraordinary proposition for you. I'm a lover, Witcher, of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. And Toussaint is home to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to, uh, preserve them. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, naturally, you'll protect me should the need arise. My ever-vigilant guards, see, will report any reckless behaviour to my wife if I get so much as a scratch. And then woe will be me. Why do I have a feeling that we are going to hunt archspores? Count Belladol? Famous poultry farmer, is that it? <coughs> well, that was my grandpapa. Dear man. But my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. The very reason for my frequent visits to Beauclair, uh, during which I like to uh, partake of nature, let us say. Really need a witcher to uh, partake? Got guards of your own. Take them, save some coin. I could, surely. But they too deserve a bit of rest, relaxation. Right, lads? <laughs> Besides, I've plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Who dares stop me? Ah, so this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. There's also Clarissa who... Vilma, please. Who what? Hm. Uh, my daughter. I always return from my travels with some souvenir or another. She looks forward to them tremendously. <laughs> but uh, we did not meet to chat about my family. We must discuss our venture, must we not? Need some details before I can say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Of this device, see? Uh, a parastysomac. It, uh, it captures, uh, likenesses. A parasister what? It's like a movable megascope, capturing moments, transforming them into illusions, based upon which I then paint a painting. <coughs> so, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. Well, and uh, should any trouble arise, <laughs> we'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed? Pretty unusual contract. I couldn't agree more, yes. And I'm prepared to pay a commensurately high fee. Don't mind if we actually talk about exactly how high that'll be first, do you? Why ever would I? Please, simply tell me how much you wish to receive. Let me be bold. Sublime! We've a deal! Okay. Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime! In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me and marked out their ranges on the map. Good thinking. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? Yes, let's. The light seems perfect just now. I have no idea what this map marks. Seems I got the map, so I'll lead. Okay. 
Wouldn't rather be out here with those guards of yours? <laughs> you jest. It's deliverance to emerge from under their wings. Believe me, they're overprotective. O oppressively so. I wish to admire the wildlife. Preserve it. Not watch them kill it in a fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? Then we shall have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something supper. Do you? But as long as they remain calm, we've no need to provoke them. It's... it's of the utmost importance to me, in fact. Well, that does not seem like a panther. Map says there should be panthers around here. Stay close. Keep your eyes peeled. I've put one request, Witcher. Avoid bloodshed, if at all possible. Shh. Heard something. Grunting, panting. Something like a bear. Ooh. I'm not the least bit eager to come face to mug with a bear. We should move on. I so don't like coming that close. Hear that? Panthers. Frankly, I did not hear a thing. Clearly, your senses are far more acute than mine. I must it's rely on you. of you, dude. Come on, how close! What are we doing here exactly? Damn poachers. Snares. Looks like they were hoping for a bear. Panther got caught instead. Look, a cub. Will you help the mother? Give it a shot. Gotta calm her first. Likely to lunge at us otherwise. Brilliant! You free A superb image! A folk call witches heartless. This will put the light to that! Peristisomax upset the animals. Better get out of here. I cannot abide, Porching. Content you share my love for animals. Got pretty broad interests for a man of the city. I suppose I dabble in my share of things. Wine, nature, Painting. I imagine the life of a witcher must be rather more monotonous. With all due respect. It is. Never boring, though. Uh, I, for one, cannot fathom only ever consorting with the same creatures, day in and day out. Got a wife? Y yes. What's that got to do with anything? Nothing. Just asking. Centipede, you say?
That sounds exciting, eh? Those, uh, centipedes, giant, underground tunnel burrowers, make a distinct sound. We can use that to track them. Why do I think that tracking a centipede is a bad idea? Sounds loud and clear here. Must be near the nest. We're here. Well, this vantage point's no good. I shan't capture a good image from here. All right, wait. We'll find you a better spot that's safe too. Tread lightly. Giant centipedes sense the softest sounds, the lightest vibrations. You wake one up, it wakes up angry. Here. I, I don't know. Isn't it a bit close? Right. We'll find another spot. Seems like a safe spot. Safe, perhaps. But it offers no view whatsoever. Hmm. Fine. We'll keep looking. Here, maybe. Distance seems right. Light's not bad either. Yes, this will work perfectly. Can you lure them out? Give me a minute. Need to think. Vibrations. Gotta send some through the ground. I'll try tossing a bomb or casting a sign. And you watch out. Don't get any closer. Can I do it from up here? An excellent day for capturing moments. Thank you. Truly magnificent that was. We can move on now. Exhilarating. Positively exhilarating. Thank you. I've one more request. Local peacocks performing their mating ritual. I'd love to see that. Apparently, a flock dwells not far from here. We can go. Just don't count on peeping at them while they mate. Season ended a month back. Oh, that's terrible. I so wish to capture their splendorous tails in full bloom. Is there nothing you can do if they prove uneager to present? Perhaps challenge them somehow? Goad them? What did you have in mind? Don't have a tail myself, and I'm not likely to sprout one anytime soon. My thoughts were more along the lines of Witcher magic. 
They say you can exert influence over lesser creatures. Uh, yeah, guess I can try. Can't promise you anything, though. Splendid. Consider me contented. Uh, I cannot pinpoint the flock's location, but a hunter I know told me a few likely spots. I'll mark them for you. All right. Let's go find some peacocks. Oh, Geralt, what did you get into this time? I was wondering, why peacocks? My... my daughter is rather fond of them. There will be a treat for her. Eyes in the back of your head. What? I clearly do not sense anything around this place. Feather from the rump, coated in suet. Cock shed it recently, and the suet's got a distinct scent. Ought to be able to track the flock. A witcher in action. What a treat to watch. It's a very faint smell, I must say. Getting close. Oh, that's lovely. Now, if they could just splay the tails. See what I can do. Find a good spot. Ready? Use your magic, Witcher! Masterpiece! Smile, please! Giant centipedes! Damn it! Where did they come from? Must have followed us. Get back! Ah! Geralt! Save me! What now, you piece of film? in my direction!
my saddle. Do not look in my direction! What now, you piece of filth? in my direction! All over now. Whew, that was... That was... tense. I believe I've had my fill of excitement for today. I sure hope so. What a wonderful adventure! Get everything you wanted? Yes. In that case, time to get back to your camp. Returning your lord to you, safe and sound. You've our gratitude, Master. You see, lads, there was nothing to fear. Thank you, Witcher, for looking after our dear Count. Seems the jaunt did him wonders. Breathed some new life into him. Wait here a moment, Geralt. I have to fetch my coin pouch. Pay my dues. New life? He was feeling down? Made no mention, did he? Something Ten years back, his last Clarice is her name. Took a spill off her horse. Been bedridden ever since. Cannot walk of her own. She'd been the life of the house before the calamity. A merry sprite what filled every corner with joy. Count would oft take her out on trips. She loved animals too. Excursions he makes now. Or rather, paintings he brings home. They's her only window on the wider world. Sorry to make you wait. I was dead chuffed to be able to observe you in action. To confirm for myself there that the tales about you were not exaggerated in the slightest. You showed discipline, reliability, responsibility. I dare say you'd make the ideal business associate. That's a shame you've no interest in the wine trade. One day, maybe. Your reward. Use it well. Thanks. I've one other matter I wish to broach. In a few days' time, I shall exhibit my work for some friends, my coterie, so to speak. Would you come by? Sure. Why not, if I'm in the area? Splendid. In that case, I shall see you at my lodgings. I'm staying with a friend while in Tucson, near a village named Frankelar. I'll be by. See ya. Decent. Seems I'm still out. No. We can remove this one. We have some other contract here, as I can see. Hey, over here, please! Another wine merchant. Heard you calling. Wanted to talk? I did, for we're neck deep in trouble, of the spider kind. Oh, of Need a maid with a broom, not a witcher. You fail to understand. These are huge, the size of pigs or dogs, black and hairy, spewing webs. Mm-hmm. Not talking about spiders, then. Talking about arachnomorphs. Call them what you will. You must smash the rogues, will you? Those caves would be prime barrel storage were it not for the beasts. You are not the first guy who wants first to utilize first, the caves. First need to talk about my reward. Uh, not an amount I can afford. Perhaps a modest reduction, eh? Hmm. Shall we talk 40% then? How much is that will be? Hmm. Uh. This? Not far now. We find ourselves a hair from agreeing. I knew we would agree terms. 
Arachnomorphs don't look much like bunnies, but they sure breed like them. Best nip the problem in the bud. I'll look into it. Vintners. Nothing doing. Sammy reeks around here. Careful, good folk. I wonder if I can get a loan from Gianfinelli. And if I were to put up my wife as soon. That silver. Which one is that? 90. No. I need this one. This seems like a rather damp cave, you know? I'm not sure if it is suitable for the wine. Not that I'm proficient in making wine yet, of course. Just have some considerations of my own. Witcher or not, you've still to bust your bum. Any tidings? All taken care of. Went inside and cleaned up. Thank the gods! And you too, of course. Wine trade. Been at it for a while? Not terribly long, to be candid. I apprenticed to be an alchemist, but proportions were never my strong suit. So I took to trading in wines. More pleasant, I must say. One drinks on the job, and no one ever complains. Makes sense. And the world's always a bit more bearable on a buzz. Time I got back on the path. So long. <sighs> I've sweat dripping down my bum furrow. Now. A job is like a lady. You can always... We do have some money. And it seems to me like my house might be somewhere not far away. So 
How about we try to go back to my house and invest in it a little bit? Since we are closing in on our episode, we that might as well will be the end of me. I've might as well do me. something. Well, not extraordinary, no, but like something maybe personal. The what I'm looking for. I mean, this is my property, and it is not in the best shape. So, perhaps I wish to restore it. Plus, it's getting dark. Don't you think that the local moon is rather big? Eh. Sans Retour Valley. Excuse me, Roach. Explicitly I told you which way to go. You decided to go your own way. Yeah, I clearly missed the right turn. I just wanted the cat to be nice to me. And that's how tyrants are born. You just want people to be nice to you and then you force them to be nice to you. Not cool. How might I be off surface, sir? Starting to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? As you wish, sir. Shall we see you really call him BB? This time? Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion, why not start with a general renovation? I once oversaw such work at Admiral Rompelli's summer residence. The effects were simply breathtaking. Not only did the residents positively sparkle afterwards. It's in your hands then. Make the place shine. I shall get to work immediately. Within a day's passing, I shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the Admiral's residence. They are the finest specialists around. Highly skilled at what they do, it shall not take them too long, I wager. Two days after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. I hope so. Is there anything, anything else you require, sir? Feels like by investing a bit of coin I could make the house more functional. I agree. Yet I would urge you to hold off on further construction until the ongoing work is done. 
Juggling can be a challenging art. It's best not to undertake too much at once. That's all for now, BB. Thanks. That part is sad. So I can go to Libiodas Gate, and from there I can go. the region I'm interested in, or we can also investigate this question mark nearby. What is it with this bridge? Okay. Yeah, fine, okay. I'll, I'll just go like this. Who do we have here? I just put Perhaps not prepared for this crap.
Cry still mighty. I thought I'm gonna die here. Arcaspores will sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. to her father. Dearest father, it's done. I've been knighted. Your efforts have not gone in vain. I've fulfilled our shared dream. Can you believe it? Your only son, a knight. Thank you for all those years of hard work and sacrifice. I know you refused yourself much to be able to afford to buy me a horse and armor. I know you worked very hard to allow me to live in Bukwe. That is why I dedicate my first quest to you, father. I shall exterminate some parasites prowling our main roads. Swain a dragon it is not, but I am excited all the same. I don't think that went well. Come on. Slow now. Whoa. Maybe we should go from Mitina Gate, actually. Now. Yes. Mm. Oh. We need to go back to Chen Finale, that's for sure. Oh, that one is good. And I have a lot of gear contracts in this area. In this direction, there I see. I was under the impression that I have much more secondary quests. Apparently I might have been mistaken. Well, I know that there is like, supposedly a lot of that. Yeah, we should not forget to clear that one. Yeah. We should definitely try to pay attention to the southwest. Um, that's on the north. What's that? No, that's also on the north. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hm. Okay then. That will all be later. 
for now I'd like to wrap up the episode. I think it was a nice one. Uh, we are... Uh, we start to renovate our mansion. And I am very happy about it. I can't see to wait uh, how it will uh, turn out. Uh, it is a little bit of a challenge to make some coin at the moment, but we'll be there, we'll be there. Um, I think in the next episode we will focus on the uh, story of Professor Moreau, uh, because uh, you might have noticed, if you have been watching uh, my gameplay, that for quite a while I did not put any points in anything, and I did not have a look at any mutagens or whatnot, because I simply maxed out the signs that I wanted to max out. I put kind of the best mutagen I am aware of in my mutagen slots, and I feel comfortable playing. But perhaps we can unlock some new mutagens, and uh, we can make ourselves a little bit more powerful and punchy, sign-wise. Uh, we'll check it out. Uh, once again, thank you for staying with me. I hope you enjoy my company and my gameplay. In such a case, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, or otherwise let me know down in the comments what I can improve for you. I hope to see you next time. Have a nice day out there, and bye!